Thank you guys so much for being here today and joining us on the fight to break mental health stigma. Almost a year ago to the day, I tried to take my life and almost succeeded. I should have walked out of that hospital with a new lease on life, ready to thrive. Maybe I did for a period of time. Yet somehow, a few months ago, I found myself sitting on the blue pattern couch of my therapist's office, nestled comfortably in the middle of white plush pillows, twirling my ponytail holder around my wrist over and over again until I had successfully zoned out. My therapist looked at me inquisitively as I stared at the sunbeams dancing across the windowsill. She asked me if I was okay. Of course I was okay. I was fine. But that was so far from the truth. The truth was I had been thinking about life and death, the meaning of my human existence, my excruciating level of hopelessness, and how I so badly wanted to end the pain and ultimately end my life. The truth is, I've thought about that a lot throughout the years. So, when my therapist gave me the homework assignment to write letters to myself that I can read during difficult or hopeless times, I thought, what better letter to write than a reminder to stay? Here it is, my reminder letter to stick around. To the me that needs reminding, I know things haven't been easy lately, and the pain often feels like it's too much to bear. Right now, death seems like a more palatable option than sticking around and hoping that things will get better or become easier. You tell yourself that you're broken, chronic, inherently flawed. Messages that you truly believe define the very core of your being. You can't see past the darkness that encircles you day in and day out. And that coveted light at the end of the tunnel, it's nothing more than an elusive carrot that you are always chasing. You grow weary from fighting a relentless battle with mental illness. Anyone could understand why you'd be exhausted. It makes sense. Just like wanting an end to the pain makes sense. Depression, anxiety, an eating disorder, PTSD. They have a way of shrinking your world down into a single solitary room. You exist within the four walls of your bedroom, barely able to make it out of bed. But what you don't realize is that there is a world out there behind those dark, drawn curtains and it is big and bright and just waiting to be discovered. And although it seems terrifying right now to think about embracing the noise and the chaos and the light, I promise you it won't always feel so overwhelming. You just have to hold on and stick around long enough to see that for yourself. So stay. Stay when you feel like giving in. Stay when everything in you is screaming for relief. Stay long enough to see the sparks ignite into flames as hope burns within you once again. Stay one more day. Stay to see another person smile. And maybe one day, it will be you who smiles. Stay to watch another sunset. And breathe deep as you take in the cotton candy hues of the vastness of the sky. Stay a while until you get the chance to make your voice heard. You have so much to say and can be a powerful force if you allow your words to carry. Stay until you cry one more time. You will be reminded that you are human and that being human is messy and painful and occasionally even beautiful. Stay so that you can hold someone's hand. Stay to see the changes that are happening all around you. Stay when your heart is full and you feel alive, but you aren't sure that those feelings are going to last. Stay to see them through. I urge you to please stay. The world needs more of you, even if you can't believe that right now. You are worthy and loved, and you deserve to take up space. So stick around 
a little while longer. Own your space. Use your voice. Experience life in all of its messy and broken beauty. Leave your mark on this world by being around to impact it, no matter how small you feel your impact may be. You will be okay. Maybe not today or even tomorrow. But if you choose to stay, then you get to see firsthand the incredible strength, power, and bravery that you possess. You, my dear, are a brave one. So stay. See you tomorrow, love, the me that makes it. Leaving often feels like the safer choice. It would mean relief, finality, and an ending to a story that I never wanted to own. It is vital when those thoughts feel all encom um, encompassing to have reminders to stay, to remember what it is that I show up for, no matter how ridiculous or silly it might seem to someone on the outside. My reasons to stay may look different than yours, and that's okay. Create your own reasons, keep them close, and access them when you believe that leaving sounds more appealing than staying. As my therapist once told me, the world would take a hit if you weren't here because you are inherently worthy. We are worthy, just the way that we are, and the world needs us even if we can't believe it just yet. So stick around a little while longer. Thank you.